Believe Nation. Happy Monday. Monday is my mentoring day. And uh, normally I go live at 2, but we're a little delayed today because I was doing an interview with the legend, Mr. Seth Godin. He's got a new book coming out in November. And so I did a one-on-one with him talking about the book and what to expect. Um, Oh, crap. Okay, we only got nine minutes before I got to get another call. I thought I had more time. Okay, we're going to go rapid fire. What do you got? For nine minutes. I thought I had more time. Eight minutes. Give me some questions. <laughs> we'll go rapid fire here today on Monday. Uh, put it in. There's a bunch of stuff coming. Just put it in. Let's see what we got. What is your thought on illusion? I don't know. It's an illusion? I don't, I don't, I don't really think about illusion that much. Uh, okay, what else? Some quick ones, quick ones. We got eight minutes. Got eight minutes. What challenges, what challenges you to get better every day? Um, just... Looking at my previous work, looking at my previous work, and then, and then trying to do better, right? Um, comparing yourself to who you were yesterday, what you created, and then the service, right? Like I'm making this for you guys. Um, even this, like I thought I had a half an hour break, but I have an eight minute break. Um, what am I doing on my break? Is talking to you guys, right? That it's fun for me, but just trying to get better every single day. So comparing to the progress. How much of my budget to invest versus save? Depends on where you're at, to be honest. I think, I think in the beginning of a business, most of um, the highest returns you'll get is back into the business, right? You think about, hey, what are you gonna make in the stock market? We're gonna make, you're gonna make 10%? You know, investing in yourself is almost always gonna yield more than that. But as you start to build and scale, then you may not know. Like I'm, in my business right now, uh, I don't know, the be- like money's not the problem. I don't know what the best use of money is. At the beginning, I had more um, time than money and every dollar had to count for everything. And now I've got more money than time and, and I'm investing in things to save me time, but I'm, I'm throwing off more money with my business than I know how to invest smartly back into my business. I can go do a whole bunch of dumb stuff for sure. Um, so I'm investing more into other businesses as well as um, the stock market. So depends on where you're at with your business. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't stress about it at the beginning too much investing into uh, it's saving and investing into things because I think the investment to yourself is almost always the best bet at the beginning. Whew, okay, what drives your creative thinking? Service and helping. So just feeling like people want to feel like the work that you do matters, right? You want to wake up and feel like the work you do matters, that today matters, that you're going to make something today that will help somebody. So... I'm always trying to find new creative ways to help people, even if it's on a six minute remaining Instagram live, (laughs) right? Service, 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 service. How do you keep the right person in your life? Um, You have to understand what they need. So if that's a life partner, uh, you know, what, what do they need? Read, read the, about the five love languages. That's a good starting point. Um, read to read, build to serve and figure out what their most important core value is. Those are good starting points. Same thing with people on your team, understanding what they value, what they need. And if you can help be the person that gives it to them is the path to keeping them with you for maybe not for life, but for a long time. Do you know Enneagram? Uh, yes, I've done it. I I don't know that I'm a huge buyer into it, but I've done it. I forget what I am. Uh, Mark Jacob would know. If you want to know what my Enneagram is, DM Mark Jager and he'll tell you. How to be happy? Serve. If you're not happy, it's because you're not serving. Period. You know, if you're not if you're not happy right now, it's because you feel like what you're gonna do today doesn't matter. So happiness comes from it's hardwired into you. Serving other people, helping other people, it's the same part of your brain as having food and having sex. So if you're not happy right now, it's because you're not eating, <laughs> you're not having sex, or you're not serving. Uh, so. You know, food and sex, I'll leave over to you guys. But, uh, but serving is, is people go through massive droughts. Anthony Trucks in the house. Why are you such a great human being? I, I, modeled, I modeled the best. Anthony Trucks, I met him for the first time in Puerto Rico earlier this year. And the dude is, dude is on a mission. Anthony, how's the YouTube videos, by the way? We're in Q3, are we? I mean, Q, what did you say September? Did you say September? Trucks, we need videos. If they're already up, then DM me some. I want to see them. Anthony Trucks is is the the man you need to pay attention to. If you're looking for for the 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 OP picks for for Q4 and and leading into you know next year, 
pay attention to Anthony Trucks. You heard it here first. Anthony Trucks. Go go look him on YouTube when he actually starts making content. It's coming. It's coming. He's got the new setup. It looks fire. Can't wait to see. Anyway, if you're not happy, it's because you're not serving. So you have to figure out how you can help people feel like the work you do today matters. That is sustained, ongoing happiness. What is the first work you did for money? Uh, I did a landscaping business. Um, it's coming. Trucks! We're mid-September. Come on, man. Let's go. What's the first work you did? For, uh, so landscaping was when I was in university. I was going to take half the summer and go to Italy. And I needed to um, I needed to pay for it. I had no money, right? Uh, so I needed to pay for it. So I worked at a landscaping company to give me money for the two months to go to then go to Europe afterwards. And um, that was rough work. Like That really kind of taught me what I was made of. That first day, I, I couldn't sleep because I was so excited to go to my landscaping job. So I stayed up late. And then I woke up at uh, four or five in the morning to to go and I had no sleep. Um, and I'm not super physically built. So I, I went the first day and they gave me all the hardest work because I was a rookie. And then I came home and just vomited everywhere, had a fever, it was rough. Um, but then I went up and got up the next day and I kept going, like just show yourself what you're made of. And I at the end of the two months when I was done to then go on my trip, um, they told me that they actually had a bet on how long it would last. And the shortest was one day. They said, one day I'm out. And the longest was two weeks. And I lasted the full, you know, two months. And uh, yeah, it just, you keep showing up. You say you're gonna do something, you do it. That's how you get self-love, self-confidence, self-belief, by doing the things you say you're gonna do. Okay, two minutes, we got. What to do, what do you do if someone doesn't want to be with you, but you love them immensely? Um, that's a tough one. Like, I, I would really start the question, you have to get down to like the values difference. Like, is there a values difference or not? Because there's a there's obviously something. Like, she doesn't feel like see that guy. Oh, maybe it's a I can't see. Well, the other person doesn't feel like it's a fit. So why not? It's a values difference. So can you understand the values difference, or is there no values difference, right? To to work to to work with somebody to be with somebody, you have to have similar values and your ability to grow together and learn together and take on new challenges together. So. Get down to what is your most important core value and, and look at what theirs is. That's the reason why it's not working out. Whew, guys, three o'clock, gotta go. Thank you for the love. Appreciate you. Sorry for the short one today. Um, but take the energy from this and go make something. Go create something that you're proud of, that you wanna birth into the world because you were built to serve. You can get happy in a second by helping somebody else solve a problem. Much love.